Hey to all my Lupac loves. Okay, so every so often from now on, I'm going to be putting in my community wall, you know, um, a post where my supporters can uh, basically tell me what they want me to talk about or what they want me to react to. And one of them was this Sukiana situation with YK Osiris. First of all, sir, you, you, you your overbite and your underbite need to stay off of people. That girl didn't want them lips on her, and it was obvious. And I actually follow Sukiana, so I know that, first of all, most of the people in the industry that rap and stuff, their image that they put out to the people, to the fans, is a facade. They're totally different in their regular lives. Like, they don't act the same, they don't talk the same, none of that. And Sukiana is one of those people. Like, she literally say all the time that when she's talking nasty in her music, she's talking about the man that she's with. Like, she's ex basically expressing to y'all the things that she do with her man. Not saying, oh, I want to be a HOE for all of these men in the world. She's not saying it. She she, she do interviews and, and lives and she says that. You know, she says that she's a loyal woman. She She be talking about her relations with her man rightfully so you know but at the end of the day even if she was a hoe or she was known for being that way that still don't give nobody the right to just openly put their lips they nasty looking like a goddamn alligator gall <laughs> i know <laughs> i ain't never seen nobody with an underbite and an overbite besides an animal <laughs> he don't put that mouth on I done punched him in this shit. <laughs> my bad, y'all. I was laughing so hard, but I had to cut my <laughs> to cut my voice over down because I was laughing too much. But uh, anyways, out of it. Listen, it have been a fight up in there, and you could tell by the other guys that was on side that was looking that they was uncomfortable too. Like it was unexpected, and. The Sukiana, I know that I follow. I was waiting for her to pop off. But I guess she was so much in shock to where, you know, she didn't know how to react in that moment. Because it's different when you in the moment of something happening opposed to you knowingly, you know, are you knowing something about to go down. But regardless, he was wrong. Like, he should have never did that. You ba He basically telling people or telling men that it's okay to do something like that. That's like a man uh going up to R A P E a woman just because she's a, a a lady of the night. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean you could just do that to her. Just because she does certain things doesn't mean that she wanna do that with you, basically. You you don't have that right. Nobody know where them lips been, baby. Keep those lips to yourself or keep them for a woman that actually wants them. Looking the fool. <laughs> And just look at him. He look lost in the sauce. Like, who who the hell wants somebody looking like that, putting their lips on him? He, listen, <laughs> I'm not even going to really say what I want to say because I'm trying to keep it PG on YouTube, baby. But if he had the nerve to offer an apology. They got publicists written all over it because he looked like he couldn't even put that statement together. Got the nerve to see he misread the moment. How? She wasn't nowhere by you. So what gave you the intent that she wanted you to go over there and kiss her in the mouth? How you misread a moment like that? No full play was involved, baby. Like, <laughs> how do you misread a moment like that? Please, somebody please tell me. He, listen. He said he reached out multiple times. I'm going to put the apology up here so y'all can see. He said he reached out multiple <laughs> multiple times and she never responded back. And I don't blame her because I wouldn't respond back either. And like I said before, her man needs to be checking that. Because it's no way. It's, it's no way I'm going to be out at a public event. And then this little child, because that's what he looked like. A little child with an overbite and an underbite. And his eyes be giving loss. Like, he confused all day long, gonna go put his little raggedy lips on this girl. Just because she make freaking music don't mean she won't just any man coming up to her 
doing mouth to mouth, baby. It don't work like that. Like, <laughs> who would y'all get it together? Music industry, get it together. But anyways, y'all, yeah. But uh, if y'all can hear the 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 crickets chirping, it's because I'm outside. I live in the country, so you know I like to chill outside on my porch and just listen to the beautiful sounds of the little animals until they come by me <laughs> and then I'm hauling ass. <laughs> but um back to subject. If I if whoever Suki's man is, he definitely need to check that. Cause I know mine would. Oh it, it would be a fight, baby. Because you don't do nothing like that. And not only did he do it once, but he did it twice. Like, dude, he gives me creep vibes. Like he would literally do something to a woman that you know that's saying no that's the that's the vibe i caught from that like he don't take no for an answer this woman is literally even though she's kind of laughing it off a little bit that's because she kind of shame like it's y'all out in public and it's a lot of people around and it was unexpected that doesn't mean that she's telling you or inviting you to kiss her and then in the mouth like who does that he <sighs> He definitely got creep. They might as well stamp creep or creep or weirdo on his forehead because that's the vibe. That's his vibe from here on out. Goddamn under and overbite. Look a mess. But it, that's my reaction to that. Love you guys. Until the next one.